好，第廿四條呢，就想考下我哋對身邊嘅環境啊，有冇一個觀察同埋啦，當中有冇啲擺屋嘅原理喺背後呢？咁其實我哋平時喺馬路呢，都見到有啲樹呢，佢俾個紅毛嚟封住咗條根嘅。咁你對於呢件事啦，有咩睇法呢？會唔會覺得，咦，其實都幾好啊？啊！幫助棵植物去鞏固自己，又或者啦，唔係喎，你咁搞法呢，棵樹會死㗎喎、哦。咁所以我哋下面呢，就四個學生，佢哋分別呢，就對於呢一件事呢，有唔同嘅睇法。咁我哋就睇下邊個係啱，邊個係錯啦。咁其實成條題目呢，係考我哋幾樣嘢嘅，條根有啲咩嘅需要啦，條根有咩基本嘅功能啦，一棵植物啦，係點樣做支撐啦。同埋呢個紅毛泥啦，去冚住咗個泥土嘅時候啦，會有啲咩嘅唔好嘅事會發生啦。咁啊，做一擊破咯喎。阿 John 咧就話啦：，誒唔緊要㗎，啲氧氣咧喺塊葉產生咗嘅話咧，其實可以運到落去條根嗰度嘅。咁當然啦，呢、這個咧一定係錯嘅。咁啊 ，John 仔之所以錯咧，係因為成棵植物嘅表面咧，其實都係識得咧去做氣體交換嘅。佢係唔需要依靠塊葉。再產生啲氧氣，再運落去俾條根嘅。我哋學 s i l o m e s h 學 f o l o m e s h 都冇講過佢哋識得運氧氣嘅，係咪？咁所以啦，一條根咧最基本嘅需要咧就係喺個泥土度獲得氧氣，而唔係喺塊葉嗰度獲得。咁啊 ，Tom 就話啦，乜咁搞法啊？咁啲水咧，其實你俾條根吸咗之後咧，都運唔到去塊葉嗰樹嘅喎。咁咪因為啲紅毛泥咧就會塞住咗我哋嘅 s i l o m e s h 呢、这個更加冇可能啦，因為呢啲紅毛泥係根本入唔到嗰個木質部嘅，佢冚住咗個泥土咁解嘅啫。所以對於條根啊，吸咗水啊，吸咗礦物質咧，仍然都係可以透過木質部咧去運到上去嘅。咁啊，最基本啦，吸水吸 minerals 就係我哋條根嘅功能啦。跟住啦，就到 Susan 啦，佢話：哇，封得好啊！啲紅毛泥咧，仲可以幫棵植物咧，繼續去支撐佢，令到佢保持直立啊！呢、这個係錯上加錯啦，因為始終棵樹咧之所以咁直立咧，係因為啦喺山。咁咧，樹佢有好多木質薄啊嘛，撐起成個樹幹啊嘛。因為你諗下啦，始終佢一啲木質嘅植物咧，佢係主要咧都係靠個 rigidity 嘅。嗱，咁 rigidity 重唔重要？都重要。咁喺嗰啲樹枝嘅阿叉啊，或者塊樹葉啊，佢真係靠 rigidity 噶嘛。但係就一定唔係靠個混凝土咯。係，我哋如果真係要靠混凝土嘅話，不如我哋全部封曬紅毛泥啦，唔需要擺泥土啦，係咪？佢亦都唔需要咁多條根啦。咁以前冇紅毛泥嘅時候，棵樹點樣支撐自己㗎？所以呢，佢哋三個都係錯，就唯獨 Mary 先係啱喎。Mary 就話啦。Oh no， 唔得掂啦！啲紅毛泥呢，就會封住咗個泥土，從而啦就令到嗰條根呢，就做唔到氣體交換，然後呢，就導致到條根呢，就吸礦物質吸得差咗啦。咁啊 Mary 呢，就最清晰啦，封咗紅毛泥之後，條根呢，的確做唔到氣體交換嘅，因為你諗下啦，封死咗之後啲空氣容唔容易入得到泥土呢，都好難嘅。咁所以啦，嗰條根呢，亦都唔能夠吸到足夠嘅氧氣攞嚟做呼吸作用。亦都釋放唔到足夠嘅能量呢，去做一個 active transport 去吸 minerals 啦。咁所以久而久之呢，其實波植物係有機會死嘅。Question twenty four is checking our daily life observation and how can we relate it to the biological concept. So the following photograph shows a tree with a root covered by the concrete. So you may have already seen it in a row. So there are some concrete covering the root. So this question is checking several concepts. We call the need of the root. Recall the function of the root. Recall the support in the plant. Realize the effect of the concrete covering the soil. So there are four students. They have different opinion of this situation. John is saying that oxygen produced in the leaves can be transported to the root for respiration. Oh, that's okay. Maybe the root cannot do the gas exchange a bit well, but no worry because the oxygen can be transported to the root. Wrong idea because the whole surface of the plant can carry out gas exchange. Actually, the root it doesn't need to rely on the leaves to produce the oxygen by、uh, photosynthesis or the oxygen、uh, obtained by the leaves and then transport it to the root. Even we learn the xylem vessels and phloem vessels the functions we never. 一二三四 ，we never learn that， 誒、uh, ，the xylem， 一二三四 ，we never learn that the xylem vessel and phloem vessel they can transport the oxygen， so that's why it doesn't make sense， so that's why John is wrong， and Tom is saying that how come water absorbed cannot be transported to the leaves because the concrete will block the xylem vessels， it doesn't make sense because the concrete they can never enter the xylem vessels， so it just block the soil， it doesn't affect the function of the xylem vessels， and Susan say that oh that's a good Idea: The concrete can provide mechanical support and keep the tree upright. The how can the tree keep it upright is due to the support by the rigidity of the xylem vessel in the tree trunk. 
at least you know that the tree is the woody plant and for the woody plant they consist of a lot of the xylem vessels and for the xylem vessels they provide support by the rigidity of course the rigidity is also important in the branches or even in the leaves but the support never comes from the concrete in the past there was no concrete at all so how can the plant support themselves in fact they use the root to provide anchorage in the soil the root will grow deeper deeper and deeper and hold the soil firmly and provide support so that's why these three students they are wrong only mary she is correct oh no the concrete blocks gas exchange in the root and leading to poor absorption of minerals in the root so she can really recall the need of the root the root need to absorb water and minerals and also the function as well absorption of water and minerals the logic is that the concrete because it's covering the soil there is not sufficient oxygen in the soil and the root cannot obtain sufficient amount of oxygen for respiration so that's why it cannot release enough energy for the minerals absorption by active transport so in the end the tree may die 